the thrill of the theater to the comfort of your home. You can always count on something new and exciting from Disney. And now, Walt Disney World celebrates its 25th anniversary. Can you remember the way it used to feel when you believed in make-believe and fairy tales were real? Remember, make the dream come true. It's a magic celebration and our special guest is you. Come be a part of Disney World's 25th anniversary. And remember the magic. Join us for a special preview from Walt Disney Pictures. This I haven't seen in years. This is wonderful. The child is in love with a prince. Have you lost your senses completely? He's a human. You're a mermaid. Teenagers, you give them an inch, they swim all over you. The time has come to return. Under the sea. Under the sea. Walt Disney Pictures invites you back to the spectacular world of the Little Mermaid. Look at you. There's something different. No, She's no, no. got legs, you idiot. Relive the timeless classic with Flounder, Sebastian, King Triton, Ursula the Sea Witch, Prince Eric, and of course, Ariel. Wish I could be part of you. This holiday season. I love you with all my heart, with every molecule, with every atom. I love you on a subatomic level. This is going to be the very last time I try to marry you. I'd rather die than disappoint you. On the most important day of his life, Philip Brainerd, the world's most absent minded professor, made a few little mistakes. <laughs> Oops. What a bang! And one gigantic flub. It's flubber. Flubber? Sounds like baby shampoo. It's a metastable compound. If you apply a small amount of energy, it liberates an enormous quantity of energy. This definitely has application in the field of sports. When I exit this window, the flubber will send me right back up unharmed. Are you nuts? Ta-ta, my love. Ouch. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Oh. A classic story. Mayday! Oh, sorry. First time flyer. A boy meets a Get him! This Thanksgiving... Discover the stuff that dreams are made of. Oh! Robin Williams. Enjoy all the magic at home with these great Disney movies coming to video. Beauty and the Beast. It's everyone's favorite classic and the only animated film in history to be nominated for Best Picture. Now, 
get ready to be our guest for a perfectly enchanting new movie now in production. Come on, what are we waiting for, Christmas? Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. It's the world premiere of a brand new Disney classic coming only to video. A never-before-told chapter in the Beauty and the Beast legend. The classic tale of a young girl, her enchanted friends, and the one thing that just might touch the heart of a beast, the spirit of Christmas. Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, reunites all the original cast. Go for it! Including Robbie Benson, Paige O'Hara, Jerry Orbach, David Ogden Stiers, and Angela Lansbury. And two new star-studded voices, Tim Curry as Forte, the evil pipe organ, and Bernadette Peters as Angelique, the castle decorator. Oh, no, me. Ah, Angelique, mon amour. These new friends join your favorite characters singing five show-stopping songs. As long as there's Christmas, I truly believe. Don't miss the most enchanting new Disney movie of the year that you can add to your video collection. Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. The world premiere is only on video November 11th. Disney Home Video is proud to bring you three timeless Disney classics. Filled with fun and excitement, these three great Disney movies will soon be available, giving you three more reasons to visit the Disney section of your store in September and October. In September, one of the greatest movies ever made is on sale for the first time to share with a whole new generation, Sleeping Beauty. Come along to a world of adventure, fantasy, and excitement. Disney's 16th animated masterpiece, Sleeping Beauty. One of the most original and acclaimed animal classics ever is coming to video. Walt Disney's Old Yeller. We'll never see another one like him. It's the timeless classic everyone loves. Leonard Maltin says it's one of the best. And now it's available in a special fully restored 40th anniversary limited edition. Walt Disney's Old Yeller. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Also in October, don't miss your chance to own one of the greatest movies of all time. You'd better believe it. The song-filled celebration of Walt Disney's 19th animated masterpiece, The Jungle Book. Crazy. Join the unforgettable characters on this spectacular adventure, featuring some of the greatest music ever written for the big screen. Ooby-doo. I want to be like you. Ooby-doo. I want to walk like you. Chip talk like you. Chip choo. Available in a fully restored 30th anniversary edition, it's the last animated masterpiece to have Walt Disney's personal touch. The most outrageous classic of them all, Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Take me home, Daddy. Miss all the fun of these timeless Disney classics. Available soon to add to your collection. Three more great reasons to visit the Disney section of your store. Only from Walt Disney Home Video. There's always something exciting for everyone from Disney Interactive. New from Disney Interactive. It's Disney's Magic Artist, the ultimate artist workshop on CD-ROM that transforms your home computer into a magical art studio. Compose dazzling works of art with over 300 magic stamps, including your favorite Disney characters. Then watch as they're drawn stroke by stroke. Or select magic stamps, then enhance your picture with art tools like paints, crayons, and markers that look like the real thing. Lots of wacky tools let you decorate your pictures with ladybugs, confetti, bubbles, and more. You can even begin with a blank canvas and use your brushes, chalk, and finger paints to create original masterpieces. Then, print your artwork out in full color, or create coloring book pages and share them with your family and friends. Follow the shape around Interactive the eye. lessons from Disney artists teach you how to draw Mickey and the gang. Disney's Magic Artist, the CD-ROM that lets you create magic right on your home computer. And also, after the the Aladdin's special features, you will do more previews after. Okay? Hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining us for this special preview. And now, our feature.
feature presentation. storyteller of the Middle East. Rawis have been captivating listeners in marketplaces like this for over 2,000 years. They tell stories of faraway places and wild adventures. And one of the most popular stories is the legend of Aladdin. Aladdin was one tale in a collection of stories called the Arabian Nights. These stories were filled with magic lamps, flying carpets, and mystical genies. Today, Aladdin comes to life again, an ancient story told by some modern-day Rawis, the artists at Walt Disney Studios. And their latest fantasy adventure will take you to a whole new world. Aladdin is one of nearly 200 folk tales that can be traced back to the Indian, Persian, or Arabic cultures of around 850 AD. The story was told from generation to generation and was first published in France in the early 1700s. 200 years later, Aladdin came to Hollywood in the 1924 silent film Thief of Baghdad. Douglas Fairbanks stars as a brave hero who rescues a beautiful heroine on a flying magic carpet, sweeping her to safety above a cheering crowd of thousands. In Alexander Corder's 1940 version of Thief of Baghdad, color and sound made the story even more spectacular. Valiant hero Mickey Mouse starred in a 1930s version of the Arabian Nights. Here's Mickey to the rescue in Mickey in Arabia. storytellers could have ever imagined. Why? Ten thousand years will give you such a crick in the neck! Set in mythical Agrabah, a resourceful youth named Aladdin uses all his wits to stay one step ahead of the law. Catch! One jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. 
something he has dreams he has ambitions um he's what we call a diamond in the rough he he has hidden potential you are a worthless street rat you were born a street rat you'll die a street rat and only your fleas will mourn you i'm not worthless and i don't have fleas when animating their newest hero disney artists found inspiration from surprising sources one of the, the main inspirations for Aladdin was Hammer and his just energetic movement, especially in the You Can't Touch This. We watched that constantly, and it really inspired the artist to get that kind of action in the opening sequence where Aladdin is running through the streets. He's got these pants that are uh, really inspired by... MC Hammer, you know, the, the really balloony kind of pants. As each character comes to life, their personalities are as distinct as the animators who draw them. We have cast the animators very much like actors, and, and each animator, each supervising animator specializes in a particular character. When animating Jasmine and bringing her to life, I think as in any character that I work on, believability is, I think, paramount. Jasmine is based on a lot of different things, but I ended up basing a lot of Jasmine on my, my younger sister. And I carry a picture of her high school graduation in my wallet. So I pulled that out and I looked at it and I thought, you know, that's, that's a pretty good. She's about the right age when the photograph was taken, the, kind of the dark hair, dark eyebrows, and things that we were kind of looking for. One of the problems we had in animating Aladdin is trying to get him to be somebody that Jasmine would really be drawn to. Because Jasmine, Mark Hen's animation of her was, was so beautifully handled that you could see why Aladdin would fall in love with her. But you were wondering, why, what, is, what does she see in him? So whatever poses we did with Aladdin, we tried to give him that, that sort of bravado confidence which played really nicely because really deep inside, Aladdin's got a lot of insecurities. He's somebody just like all of us. Sometimes you feel so... You're just... Trapped. Every hero or heroine needs a helping hand. Someone to catch them if they fall. A trusty sidekick. A lot of times the sidekicks bring comedy relief, and in some ways they're, they're more cartoony than the main characters, and they can slant the film a little more to take advantage of, of the animation medium. What? Uh, uh Boo says, uh, that's not fair. And does Abu have anything else to say? Well, uh, he wishes there was something he could do to help. <laughs> Boo is Aladdin's pet, but he's really sort of his best friend and his most loyal booster, and they're a real team in the marketplace. Come back here, you little thieves! <laughs> the challenge was to make him more than just a monkey. He had a human personality as well. 
It's the human personality that allows you to connect with him. The sidekicks in the Disney pictures can really exploit the medium better than you can with the Disney princes and princesses. Someday, Abu, things are going to change. We'll be rich, live in a palace, and never have any problems at all. Aladdin and Abu are friends to the end, carrying on a Disney tradition of memorable companions, the heroes and their helpers. Cricket maybe the all-time best sidekick. I think he, he really was really dimensional and, ha and, and brought a lot of warmth and uh, personality to it. Gee, Whoa! Whoa! Does it feel good to be out of there? Yo, Rockman, haven't seen you in a few millennia. Give me some tassel. Yeah, yo, yo. In Aladdin, there's a sidekick like you've never seen before. The genie. There's never been a friend like this. The ever impressive. The long contained. But never duplicated. 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 Genie of the lamp. Right here, direct from the lamp. Right here for you. Very much wish fulfillment. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wish fulfillment? Characters usually still maintain their body shapes and, and their physical properties, and the genie doesn't have to. So I mean, it's a great liberating kind of thing to have for a character in a feature film. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. Can we call you Al, or maybe just Din? Wait a minute. I'm your master? That's right! He can be taught! We wrote the script with Robin Williams in mind, and, and we felt that uh, we really wanted to get Robin to do the voice of the genie, because he was conceived as a very mercurial character, like Robin is mercurial with his voice, he keeps going and shifting into different characterizations. The genie was a shapeshifter visually and would keep shifting all the way through the movie. Fond of you, kid. Not that I want to pick out curtains or anything. Cobra looks safe before it strikes. Appearances can be very deceiving. The snake has always been the symbol of evil. And who can be more threatening than the greedy, sinister Jafar? Jafar doesn't talk, he hisses. A snake am I? Perhaps you'd like to see how snake-like I can be? The Disney villains, I think, are all, always the most interesting parts to get for an animator because I still think that villains motivate the story. Without the villains, you'd just have a happy land and nothing would happen. It would be very boring. The princess will marry me. The good sequence was the confrontation with Jasmine, the princess. He's trying to be sympathetic, but he is lying through his teeth, you know, and all that oiliness comes out. And the boy was a criminal. What was his crime? Kidnapping the princess, of course. He didn't kidnap me. I ran away. Oh, dear. Oh, how frightfully upsetting. Had I but known. Jonathan Freeman, you know, the voice actor, was for Jafar. Jonathan has a certain attitude in his voice. I just wanted to have some fun with it. <laughs> no villain acts alone. They all have their diabolical and all too willing accomplices. The harmers who help them with their evil deeds and do their dirty work. Jafar's partner in crime is Yago. I can't believe it! I just don't believe it! Jafar and Iago are really like the odd couple. Because they get on each other's nerves occasionally. Get a grip! Good grip! The inspiration for Iago uh, came from the pet cockatoo that my wife and I had. Our bird alternates between very docile and very quiet to very loud and raucous. We're never gonna get a hold of that stupid lamp! Just forget it! Look at this! Look at this! I'm so ticked off that I'm molting! He's the only parrot with a full set of choppers in his mouth. Because you can't have Gilbert Gottfried's voice coming out and not see those big teeth. 
Oh. Basically, they saw me. They said, parrot, parrot. This guy would be a good parrot. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jafar, what if you were the chump husband? What? Okay, okay. You marry the princess, all right? And, and uh, you then you become the sultan. And then we drop Papa-in-law and the little woman off a cliff. Yeah! Her splat! <laughs> I love the way your foul little mind works. He just goes completely off the deep end with his ranting and raving. And so uh, you take that and you put that posture with the shrugged shoulders and the palms out and tearing his hair out. And he's complaining all the time. And I... And, uh... You got a little parrot that does the same thing. Yago and Jafar tend to react the same way. If they hear something strange and they look at each other like, what? They both have the same reaction to it, and, and their facial expressions mirroring each other really became a lot of fun. Disney's villains and harmers come in a variety of shapes and sizes. I say we kill the beast! What I want from you is your voice. Before the sun sets on my 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger and die! I'll get you for this man if it's the last thing I do! But one trait is shared by them all. They always have a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> Throughout the ages, one thing has never changed. The struggle to breathe life into a painting or a drawing. Even a genie can't do that for you. It requires talent and patience and imagination. The kind of imagination that can create the illusion of being in an ancient city. Or the kind of imagination that can create a place where simple sketches leap into life. The Disney Animation Studio in Florida. It was here that supervising animator Mark Henn created Princess Jasmine for Aladdin. Overall, one of the most exciting things about the project was the overall style of the picture. I really was interested in, in coming up with a character design that was a little more of a graphic statement. It was really a fun challenge for me in, in thinking in terms of her look and how she was going to then fit into the uh, overall picture. Then maybe I don't want to be a princess anymore. Ooh. The artists who created the world of Aladdin began by thoroughly researching the recurring designs in the Middle East, from the onion-domed buildings to the swirling brushstrokes of Arabian calligraphy. Over 1,800 color photos were taken at ancient sites in Iran to help the artists understand the Islamic world of the 15th century. The curving lines of the backgrounds extended into character design. Animators studied the works of caricaturist Al Hirschfeld. We wanted characters that would fit in that curvy environment. Hirschfeld's work was a major influence because his stuff is so curvy and sinuous that I thought it would be the perfect marriage of character and environment. Are you gonna love this guy? Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Ababwa. Can you flex? Show some respect down on one knee. But some characters don't quite fit the mold. With Jafar, I really went the opposite and chose a lot of straight lines rather than curved lines and angularity to just offset the character from the rest of the cast. One cast member needed extra attention to keep from being treated like a doormat. A character with no hands, feet, or face. The flying carpet. The magic carpet is a rectangle, um, so it really the challenge is to see how much personality you can get with a rectangle that doesn't speak. And it's a real sort of exercise in, in, in animator's skill. The flying carpet was hand-drawn in the time-honored tradition of classic Disney animation. But in creating the carpet, the animators also worked with state-of-the-art technology. The surface design of the carpet, the elaborate geometric shapes and patterns, were actually created with the aid of a computer. Everything had to be sort of concocted, um, and um, and it was a real challenge. It really lets us do some things that we've never been able to do before. It, it's really, it just brings a lot of potential, but it doesn't really replace any aspect of the process. It just is more of an enhancement. 
When the magic carpet carries Aladdin to safety out of the erupting cave of wonders, the hand-drawn backgrounds are bent and twisted into different shifting and threatening shapes. The carpet careens through the cave in an amazing and magical roller coaster ride. Uh, 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 this is no time to panic! Start panicking! We've seen what it takes to make a drawing come alive. But how do you make a drawing fall in love? Hey, my handsome prince. Sleep well, princess. We're really all animating ourselves as, as young men growing up and experiencing how does it feel the first time you fall in love with a girl. You put that on the screen, and I think it makes Aladdin stand out different than any other character we've had before, any other hero. In Disney animated films, the music is as memorable as the story itself. Aladdin features six new songs, three written by Academy Award winners Alan Menken and the late Howard Ashman, and three by Menken and Tony Award winner Tim Rice. The first thing you start with is the story. You start from the characters and where the plot goes, and you know that you need to fit in an opening number. You need to have a number that expresses what the character wants, what his or her dreams are. When you do a musical score for an animated film, you're usually catching about five or six pivotal moments and with some reprises. Would they see a poor boy? No siree. They'd find out there's so much Even before the storyboards have come to life as a fully animated motion picture, the musical score is well on its way to completion, blending harmoniously with the movie's storyline. Prince Ali, yes it is he, but not as you know him. The songs that have been in previous Disney films, by and large, have been absolutely terrific, but they're only one element. I mean, the artistry, the actual animation, Storylines are all equally important. Your precious Prince Ali! Or should we say, Aladdin? As <laughs> <laughs> artists, and actors, and musicians have taken the ancient art of storytelling and added color and music and a hundred thousand moving drawings transforming it into a new way of touching our hearts and sparking our imaginations. But remember, the story of Aladdin was originally told in a place very much like this. 1001 years ago. Sunday here on Disney, you'll be able to see the British television premiere of Aladdin at 6 o'clock in the magical world of Disney. Next today, Escape the Witch Mountain, a movie that's way out of this world. Don't go away. One of the greatest mysteries of all time is now one of the most magical motion picture events of our time. It's the rumor, the legend, 
the mystery. Anya's an orphan in search of her past. I just want to know who I am, whether or not I belong to a family. Dimitri's a dreamer in need of a future. We'll find a girl to play the part and teach her what to say. Next, please. Dress her up and take her to Paris. Grandma, it's me, Anastasia. Uh, but now... Hey! Oh! Fate has brought them together. Hold on! Do you see what I see? You think that I am Anastasia? Anastasia? Anastasia. I'll stir at your lips. And they're teaming up to find her family. Hold on! No matter what it takes. Say your prayers, Anastasia! Dimitri! There's got to be something in there better than this. Go work. Go, go! Mayday! Mayday! We're going to have to jump! After you! This holiday season, share the fun. Whoa, that fell right out there, sir. The music. If I can learn to do it, I can do it. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. Come together and go through it. And unlock the secret to the greatest mystery the world has ever known. And it's true. Anastasia. I give her a ha and a hi ya and then a wah. Ow. Masterpiece, Peter Pan. Come on, let's go. It's the adventure of a lifetime for some of Disney's most beloved characters. Peter Pan, Wendy, John, Michael, and Tinkerbell as they take on the most notorious villain ever, Captain Hook in Neverland. We've got him this time. Say your prayers, Hook. <laughs> this classic tale is available in a brand new, fully restored, limited edition. This spring, Disney's 14th animated classic flies on to video. Hooray! Peter Pan, coming to video in March 1998. Coming to video in 1998, the fun-filled classic that critics are calling the most entertaining movie of the year. Two thumbs way, way up. Disney's 35th animated classic, Hercules. What was that name again? Hercules! Hercules! Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules! Thank you, thank you. Yeah, they mean Hercules! <laughs> the mighty Hercules! What you folks need is a hero! Phil! Whoa, baby! Pegasus! Meg! Have a nice day! Hades! Whoa, was my hair out? And Pain and Panic! Coming, you most lugubrious myth! All your favorite characters in this great Disney classic filled with monumental adventure. And outrageous fun. Oof, watch it. Keep your Google eyes on Oof, Chihuahua. Like a fur wedgie. You can own the smash hit of the summer on video for the very first time. To see, I'm home. Disney's 35th animated classic, Hercules. We dance, we kiss, we schmooze, we carry on, we go home happy. What do you say? Come on. Coming to video in February 1998. George, George, George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Which one are we taking to Vegas? The incredible true story... Checkmate. The one who's playing chess. Of eight. Ow! <laughs> Go find George. Tookie, tookie, tookie. Another mimosa, Mr. Tookie, tookie. Tookie, tookie. The lovely Ursula. You've been head over heels for that ape ever since you brought him here. You're right. I love him. Boys, 
We found ourselves some action. You guys wouldn't last two minutes in town without old Batty leading the way. Fern Gully 2, The Magical Rescue. <laughs> Coming directly to video this December. I'm out of here. I'm a ghost. I'm history. I'm a hologram. You can't see me. Bye-bye now. Coming to video this holiday season, it's an all-new animated musical version of everyone's favorite Christmas classic, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Starring the voices of Whoopi Goldberg, Michael York, Ed Asner, and Tim Curry as Scrooge, and featuring original music and songs. A Christmas Carol is sure to delight the entire family, and it's available now on video. Coming soon from Walt Disney Pictures. When he shrunk the kids, he promised his shrinking days were over. All right, shrink machine, one last time. But Rick Moranis has done it again. We have critical mess. Only this time. Are we shrunk? You shrunk us. He's still got a few bugs to work out. From the makers of the smash hit, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, comes a hilarious new movie, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. You idiot! Start your to get the kids' attention before it's too late. Get ready to party. You can't have a party. What can I do about it? Some of you. are deadly, Mr. Martin. You're three quarters of an inch tall. It's the fastest. Thank <laughs> you. 